Reporting to you live here from the Queen's Bay Bad Company Club in the Toby Club. It's live from last week episode 190. Let's go! my fellow Walkers, to another episode of Laugh from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. Quickly recalling last week when we got a temporary car rental after saying goodbye to the mini. This morning, post night shift. I had my last drive with this Toyota Corolla, which has served its purpose for the time being. As today was the day that we had to return our aforementioned rental. Anyways, after getting a decent post night shift nap, since I was just so exhausted in between my night shifts, I'm just getting ready to go in for my second shift in as many days, which means I'll just catch you guys again tomorrow guys taking the baby rouge to commute to work for the first time since she got injured while parked on the side of the street over a month ago i had randomly saw a blue bmw pull up beside me and honk at me with another random boo on sighting on my ride downtown but yeah happy that my bike was all in one piece when i returned to her after my shift I was reminded of the Mini driving behind one at a local traffic light. I got home to take another measly one and a half hour post night shift nap before waking up to edit some videos while watching the Olympics in the background, as well as being in awe of the synchronized swimming here, which I unfortunately and unsuccessfully tried to imitate and emulate these athletes while they were dancing in the water. But yeah, on to the plan today. Doing the usual ritual of buying a Domino's pizza on the way to the Blue Jays game. Witnessing these long lines because it was the George Springer hockey jersey giveaway day. I was able to take one literally by the teeth. Thank you very much. <laughs> Try on this new Blue Jays giveaway baby out. <laughs> Sick! Hockey jersey baby! <laughs> Let's go! And enjoy my pizza at my seats. I then met up with our dear friend G at the game to catch not just batting practice, but also the Blue Jays take on the Baltimore Orioles, sharing the large two topping pizza that I bought. Cheers! <laughs> Making friends with the row in front of us as well, and had the wife join us for the later stages of the game once she got there straight from her day shift. I was also taken back by this surprise on the concourse, running into childhood friends I literally haven't seen in years. Yo, guess who I saw at the Blue Jays game today? Yay! Yo, Katie and Chrissy! Hi, Tita! <laughs> Anyways, guys, before we wrap it up for the night, we just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my YSIC roommates out there back when we lived at 2H and who I last saw at a previous Super Kicked event. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Vanessa. Happy birthday, Vanessa. We next got a birthday shout out to one of my ICU buddies who is a previous Jay Walker POV milestone subscriber in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Greg. Happy birthday, Greg. And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to one of my cousins out there who I ran the Sporting Life 10K for and who I randomly ran into in Florida during the times of the Blue Jays spring training. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Char. Happy birthday, Char. 
I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So, really struggling with my sleep pattern on my days off. I had woken up just after sunrise this morning, not having rested or taken a nap since, still being behind on rest, sleeping for less than five hours last night. But either way, staying up so that I could work hard on editing that from last week, episode 189, for tomorrow morning's release. While having an assortment of different Olympic sports in front of me, I had taken a midday break to take the Baby Rouge out, go to a local McDonald's, and play Uber Delivery Driver to my buddy who just wouldn't tell me exactly where he was. So, on a mission to find this guy, I saw in the parking lot this stunning beauty of an SUV, which I later found out was my boy, Cami Sue. So, enjoying part of the day to hang out with my buddy Cam, he had allowed me to play Uber driver and test drive his new ride. Hi, Janelle. <laughs> and talking with him about the details of his new baby, I got a grasp on exactly the reason why he picked this Toyota RAV4 SE all-wheel drive SUV. But yeah, parting ways so that I can edit more videos later this evening, I got hungry enough to check out my Too Good To Go app, and make an order from a local Filipino restaurant called Manyaman Foods that had this order for me to take home. A great deal of taking two meals for the price of nine bucks all in. Anyways, before I go ahead and chow down this dinner before I wrap it up for the night, I just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my car enthusiast F car friends that I made back in my university days. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Michael. Happy birthday, Michael. And we've got a birthday shout out to one of my titas in the States who I hope to visit one day where she lives in Reno. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Tita Aoi. Happy birthday, Tita Ao. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Still having a difficult time trying to catch up on sleep. Last night, I was only able to get about five hours in before making our way to a place that we visited just last week. Accompanying the wife to another local massage slash physio session. But yeah, today catching up on a bit of Olympic events. Such as the men's track and field 4x100 meter relay. Where the Canadian team had captured gold. and watching some women's beach volleyball action, which was the bronze medal match. We got Canadians, Brandy and Melissa, competing for the gold, of which I'm definitely watching before I go in for one single night shift at the hospital tonight. So firstly today, I wanna to throw a quick birthday shout out to one of my friends that I made over a decade ago, who you guys know I attended the Alicia Keys concert with in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jenny. Happy birthday, Jenny. And we've got a birthday shout out to one of my friends who I visited in Vancouver, who I'm remembering back in our YSIC days. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Robert. Happy birthday, Rob. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But yeah, going back to yesterday, after an entertaining match going back and forth with our Canadian girls doing their thing, they unfortunately came up just short of winning the gold medal. 
But I'm very proud of these fellow Canadian beach volleyballers and what they've accomplished in this year's Summer Olympics in Paris. But yeah, after another busy night shift last night, where I was actually able to catch some Olympics action during my break in the break room, I was able to get home to enjoy this baby of a treat. Remembering not too long ago when we met up with Royce and Liza coming back from their trip to Japan, I was able to have this pasalubong of a melon pan that they imported for us, enjoying it for breakfast earlier. But after a lackluster just under 90 minute post night shift nap, recalling the great times that I had driving Kamisu's new ride, guess who was on Auto Trader earlier researching and looking up their next new potential car. Anyways, after going downtown to accompany the wife to work her night shift tonight, I made my way driving the Baby Rouge all the way here to Oshawa, stopping by the Lake Ridge Health Hospital, after hearing that my old man Tito Eddie wasn't feeling so well. So last night after the hospital visit, Visiting Tita Mone, who in turn was visiting Tito Eddie and making sure that Tito Eddie was okay after having his surgery. Nah. You gotta tell Tito her you're okay. okay. Huh? You have to tell you have to tell Nika that you're okay. I okay now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I got back to Scarborough to have a little midnight A and W order. Bringing it back home and enjoying this Buddy Burger with a coupon for my free A&W fries. Then going to sleep this morning and getting up after another less than six hour rest. I made a quick trip downtown to see the wife before recalling this scene from a previous episode. I was watching with great awe the Olympic mixed badminton gold medal match between the countries of South Korea and China, pretending to be Olympians ourselves, going to the Queensway Badminton Club to play a couple of hours of badminton for the first time for me this year. After that fun session of badminton going and commuting to Scarborough, I went to a church that I haven't been to in quite a while, going to Sunday afternoon Catholic Mass at the Church of the Canadian Martyrs. Then in the evening, heading back downtown to go to a venue that I remember having great times at in the past. I went to this location on Richmond called Rendezvous to continue with one of my 2024 New Year's goals that I've been doing every month so far to play some beach volleyball for the first time at this unique downtown location. <laughs> Come here. 
And after spending some time playing beach volleyball here with Giselle, being quite hungry after our activity, we checked out our Too Good To Go app and saw that there were a couple of last minute deals at actually the same location. So checking out this pretty, what seemed like popular location on King Street West called Six Donut. We got what seemed like an almost $50 value of an assortment of mini donuts to try. Yes. GG. How's it? <laughs> Which were actually pretty good if you asked us both. And getting our other Too Good To Go order of tacos, which came from the upstairs kitchen, also called Six Tacos, which we thought the quality and taste of said tacos were also pretty bomb. Ready, cheese. Cheers. You're good to go. Then before heading our separate ways, heading towards the TTC station, we saw this interesting statue located in David Pico Square, of which reminded me of the tandem bike that my cousin Duds had and reused when we were younger that was in his garage. And furthermore, obtaining a video of me riding with these animals upon this statue. Anyways, being back home before I call it a night, we just have a quick birthday shout out to one of the best dancers that I have ever seen at steamer parties back in our Wysik days. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Rupak. Happy birthday, Ru. And also, we got a birthday greeting to one of my cousins out there who you guys know I always try to visit at work whenever I go to events at the major Toronto stadiums. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jing. Happy birthday, Jonas. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So today, being a chill day, trying to recover from disappointing sleeps, including one that happened just last night. I was doing some car shopping from the comfort of my home and saw a potential car that the wife and I just might be interested in. Anyways, just chilling downtown on a nice little ride with my baby Rouge this evening. We'll just do a quick birthday shout out to one of my beach volleyball buddies out there. This birthday shout out goes out to you Swifty. Happy birthday Swifty. We next got a birthday greeting to one of my family friends that I made during those fam jams back in the day. This birthday shout out goes out to you Zyra. Happy birthday Zyra. And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to one of my FCAR friends that I made back during our university days. This birthday shout out goes out to you Angie. Happy birthday Angie. I'm hoping that everybody has their birthdays today, are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. And so, with that guys, we'll wrap up this week's Live From Last Week episode. So, if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live from Last Week.